Welcome back friends, we are back with another video, this is Wings Rule and the moment has finally arrived. Um, our war record has finally been capped off with uh, an exclusive 100% war. Uh, way to go team, this is freaking phenomenal, so excited. You know what, I was clashing for like 6 months, 7 months before I saw my first perfect war and uh, We've been in this clan for like 50 days and we scored it. Last war we were basically one more, one star short. This war, forget about it. You know what? Last friggin' last star left on the base and we have six Town Hall 9s still available to do attacks and, um, and a Town Hall 8 on a Town Hall 8 base. Oh no, that's my bad. No, on a Town Hall 9 base. So, that is a little bit of a segue, so we are looking at sickness, okay? This was down with the sickness. Number three was the last to go down, and it was Netastasia, all right? So we're going to call her Anastasia. So this is, um, this is going to be your war recap slash uh, wings roll epic moment, so... I'm so proud of everybody. We really just systematically just ruined these fuckers. I can't say anything different about it. We slapped them in the head and uh, called them Susie, to be honest. So that's just how it is. Yeah, we ended these bitches, and they had a lot of wins. So let's take a look at the enemy team. 125 wins, and they have no idea what I'm saying, so I can call them bitches all I want because they aren't even close to English. All right, so anyways, they have... Level 6, 125 wins, um, that's about all I can say about them, because that's about the only good stuff that I really have to say. Honestly, their attacking was terrifying um, on a, from a, a, a high quality attacker's perspective. So uh, yeah, you can see one star, one star, one star. I mean, Dark Knight, you know what, that's my... Uh, that's my I'm a modern, sort of, so to speak, but uh, this base is not strong. This is not a strong base. They're number two, got one fucking star on them. <laughs> I almost died, man. I'm like, what is this clown doing? That's not a freaking raid. Anyways, okay, so we're going to move right into the good stuff. Um, I want to start off by saying we are recruiting. Um... Always recruiting, you know what? We're looking for uh, all town hall levels. We like to uh, we like to bring our team up from from lower level and give them the opportunity to learn how to attack and develop and uh, learn how we like to approach war. So that uh, I don't know, kind of like McDonald's. McDonald's likes to hire people that have never worked anywhere else because they can set them in their ways according to what their ways are. So, anyways, that's what we like in our clan. We like to start off. You know lower but you know what if there's established players out there that know how to play this game feel free to come on over and, and join wings rule clan there we are the only one in this war search in the clan search area so wings rule as you can see um, our war record really speaks for itself uh, it's pretty it's pretty nasty um, yeah what are you gonna say about those green letters eh? those green highlighters we got one loss, and uh, honestly, it was my fail that caused that loss. One tie, and uh, yeah, we are kicking ace all up in this bitch. So yeah, we have 23 wins, one loss, one tie. That's pretty solid in 25 attack and 25 wars. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into well, our next war is gonna be good. Anyways, our next war, our next war looks really good. Um, we got Iron Fist back finally. Um, heroes are finally back in action. So um, I don't know. There's they're outgunned right off the bat. They've got no Town Hall 10. So unless their number one guy or number two guy are super sensational attackers, they're up shit creek big time on this one. Uh, we're gonna show them how we do it here. And this clan that we're up against now has uh, they're from my home country. 
So that's pretty sick. Uh, they're from Canada. Happy about uh, seeing some Canadians uh, representing. Um, they are French. Eh, you can't fault them for everything, but whatever. Um, we're going to move along. And, uh, yeah, nobody's perfect. So we are going to go into the war recap. I just freaking completely blew like five full minutes here uh, yapping for nothing. But we are going to go into the war recap, and we're going to take a look at some of these attacks. So we're going to start... We're going to start off by saying, okay, you know what, it's hard to show attack replays for Town Hall 5s and 6s. And it's not that it's not important, it's just it's not, it's, it's pretty redundant. It's pretty, I don't know, it's, it's, it's the same all the time. It's two minutes of just waiting for archers to 20 shot an archer tower. You know, like it's just, it's not that it's not exciting, it's just it's not as exciting and for viewership. But it's not that it's unappreciated. As you can see, these stars don't happen down here at the bottom without these lower level bases um, taking care of them. Okay, And they do their job day in and day out, war in and war out. Um, and it's it's pretty huge. Okay, So I'm going to name off a few. Uh, row. Okay, so I just named off 7, I don't know, 12, something like that. Row. Awesome, Mr. Consistency, every war. What can we say about you? I mean, you're an invaluable, invaluable member of this clan, this clan. Absolutely, there's no question. Um, huge part. And um, we got ah, Crazy Crab. I am AKA Shane. He's uh, sick. You know, he's not having, he didn't have uh, the best war, but he got his three stars on a base. And, uh, yeah, he helps take care of the lower stuff as well. Uh, Don McLaren did really well at Town Hall 7. Um, what else can I say? Uh, well, obviously, Roe, Shep, um, Tally, always taking care of business. You know how he do. Johnny, Johnny, Shuffle. What are you going to do, Johnny? Um, who else did? Yeah, Crazy Crab, Shane, Frig, yeah, like a lot, all the old, all the lower levels really took care of business, as they always do. Destructive Jim, newest member here, and uh, yeah, he's really, uh, he's making a name for himself. He's doing really well attacking. IDA had a, a, a solid attack, and hopefully he'll become more of a consistent attacker. Um, yeah, so that's our lower levels, taking care of business, and uh, yeah, we wouldn't be where we are without them, so um much appreciated to all of them. But we're going to go move right into our number one attacker here. And uh, <clears throat> our number one base is going to take on a very familiar base. So, uh, we're not going to put a whole... I don't know what his CC is doing over here. Obviously, he thinks that this is a better way of putting it. But we're going to speed it up a little bit while the CC, troop, CC dragon gets destroyed. So as you can see, he goes with a go wee wee, and uh, he just yeah, it's it's lights out here. There's not a whole lot to it. There's not a whole lot of actual strategy involved. Just drop a few golems, let that uh, let them just tank the crap out of those witches and wizards, and let the witches and wizards go everywhere. Now uh, I, I believe that um, George is possibly one of one of our strongest players. Possibly our strongest player. He has the most experience, and uh, he always makes it look so easy. So uh, great job, War uh, George. Um, they're taking out their number one base. Best defensive structure. I don't really agree with the, the town hall uh, base layout, but not at that level. If your defenses are that strong, really, you don't need to. You don't need to uh, try to perform some trickery on him. Look at all the troops he has left. George just wipes this guy out. Um, overpowered his base. Just completely squashed it. Why? Because he didn't have to break through hardly any walls to get in there. Um, yeah. This very poor base layout. So, uh, oh, this great. This attack is George again. Six star war from George. So, what can I say? <laughs> There's no way to explain this any other way. So, he's got the... Uh, the five golem attack happening here. He uh, three fingers the uh, first three drop. And uh, yeah, does a nice wide uh, spread on his wizards. And uh, he's going to drop some wall breakers in here. No, that's a, that's a lie. 
I'm forget thinking of a different attack. So yeah, he is basically just gonna manhandle his base. He didn't even wall breaker. He didn't use a jump spell. He just walked around this guy's base and killed everything. But this was a bit of a nail biter come to the end because uh, I think because he didn't try to break into any compartments, he just physically pounded through the walls. So we're gonna speed it up. But, ooh, that's going a little fast under those rage spells. So you see he lost a, a big grouping of wizards here, and uh, he's down to basically a P.E.K.K.A. here and a P.E.K.K.A. here with a Golem tank in and uh, Archer Queen. And then you see he brings in a few, uh, trickles in a few hogs off the top side here, and you should see the value these hogs get. This is insane. They just go forever, it seems. They just, they just keep destroying stuff. It's, <laughs> I don't know. George, good attack, buddy. They take out, I think, six defensive structures. Archer Queen, three shots, the freaking Tesla. What are you going to do with that level 40? She just pumps it out. And that Golem is invincible over there. You would think that he has a healer over top of him, but no, that, that Golem is... That level 3 Expo isn't even taking off any health off of that Golem. So, yeah, it's all over but the crying and the nail biting because I believe there was about five seconds left of this attack. Um, really good attack. It's just, you know, he's just too powerful. Honestly, it's just too powerful. It's not fair. It's not fair. Level 40 heroes. George, you suck. Okay, so we got uh, Netta, Anastasia coming through. From the land of beyond, I believe this attack occurs from the bottom. There we go. Yes, okay, so this was the last base to get taken down. Um, one star was remaining on it. Um, this is going to be the uh, max attack, go la loon, um, shattered go la loon. You'd call it what you will. It's just solid strategy right here. Um, yeah, good timing on the poison spell. Really easy uh, CC. Um, lure base, so I don't know. You know, it's a really cool looking setup, but it's not doing much for his uh, defense of his base, honestly. So uh, they wipe out the Archer Queen, and uh, the CC troops are extinguished. So it's time to bring in the, the Lava Hounds. Uh, one, two coming in, taking out some traps. As you can see, it takes out five traps, um, two of which are skellies. So that's pretty sick. Uh, now that the Archer Queen is gone, there's nothing really to worry about in this base defensively. Level 6 um, air defense aren't going to do much against uh, level 2 lava hounds. <clears throat> that's just, it is what it is. It's just, that's what she wrote. So these balloons just have their way with this base. Uh, lava hounds taking all the punishment, essentially. Uh, this last Tesla is the only thing doing any damage um, to those balloons. But uh, yeah. So, uh, really solid attack. This is what got us our perfect war. Um, look at those two hounds. They're still up and running. Full health. They lost one hound, which is kind of unfortunate. He would have destroyed this guy's base a whole lot faster. Had uh, one or, or both of those two hounds gone, and they were both on their last legs. But, uh, yeah, they, they survived, which took a little bit more time into this attack. So, what else we got here? Oh, we're going on here. Dark Knight is our next attacker. This one is a, going to be a go ho -we. All right, so there's 10 wizards involved in this. Now, let's just pause this. We're going to break this attack down a little bit more because a lot of people are finding that the funnel has been causing them some some complications, to put it that way, okay? It's, they're, they're feeling like it's becoming complicated to create that funnel. So here you're going to see just exactly how easy it is to, to set your funnel up to make sure that all of your troops enter this base in between these golems. Okay, so you spread them out a little bit. Then you find two defenses. They're about 10 spaces apart, tiles apart from each other. Somewhere in that vicinity so that you can drop some wall breakers or a jump spell right in here. And uh, then the golems will redirect from their pounding against the wall here, jump into the base, and, and start attracting all of the fire. So we're going to move into this, and we're going to see just how quick and easy and painless it is to cause this funnel and make everybody go into the middle. Two golems are dropped. One, two wizards. One, two wizards. Okay. 
They don't, they're not in this middle storage. We're going to leave this middle storage for the Archer Queen, okay? So now you see where's the next target for everybody to go? Right in the middle. Okay, this wizard over here is just taking care of some outside structures and making sure that the path is clear over there so that the heroes don't want to wander. All right, so as you can see, that's how easy it is. That took four wizards to clear all of those compartments for your kid, your CC troops to come in and just uh, the kill squad to come in and wreck this base up. Okay, so that's how easy a funnel is. You don't need to take out all of the structures. All you need to do is get one. One on either side so that you've got two or three in the middle that lead into the middle of the base. And as you can see, that this attack worked out exactly, exactly according to plan. Um, a little bit late on the poison drop there. It didn't really do much to the uh, skellies, but it did. Uh, it just so happened that the king was there, so it took off some of that, uh, that attacking percentage of the king. So it's all over but the cleanup here. Uh, we're going to speed this up at four times. Oh, man, I feel like I'm talking 100 miles an hour. Anyway, so there you go. That's uh, that's how you, you set your funnel up. That's how you create a um, really good um, foundation for an attack. Okay, You can usually tell whether you've screwed something up right from the first 10 seconds where, where your, your middle troops are actually heading. So you know that you need to keep, you can see there's three or four compar uh, structures right here that never got touched until these couple of outside structures were taken down so that's that's how simple it is um, I believe the next attack is going to be a dark night again and it's going to be the counter attack to the goho we um, this is going to be the uh, gola loon so two golems drop at the top now again we're going to look at this funnel and say okay this is very simplistic okay we don't need to make this overly complicated two golems one Two, about 10 tiles apart. Okay? One wizard. One wizard takes out this and this. Okay? It doesn't matter what happens to those wizards after that. Once those wizards have taken out those two structures, guess where everybody's going? They're all going into the middle. All right? And then it's just it's just time to get nasty and wreck the crap out of this base. So as you can see, as soon as those defensive structures go down, you drop the jump spell so that they don't the golems don't redirect over to these cannons. Um, poison spell goes down for the uh, CC dragon and wizards. Uh, maybe a little bit premature on that drop, but as you can see, the king is in there taking care of the archer queen. Um, archer queen uh, friendly archer queen is in there taking care of the uh, the dragon. A um, little bit early on the hound drop. Obviously, I wanted this air defense gone before that happened, but it took the queen a little bit longer to take out the uh, the dragon than I expected. But really, this this attack is kind of self-explanatory. It just happens, okay? So a couple of rage spells to speed the process up a little bit. Really unnecessary under the circumstances. Once you've gotten that core taken out and two air defenses. The Lava Hounds take care of the rest. A um, couple of back end balloons over here to uh, help with the cleanup. And uh, yeah, this is a really messy, nasty, wiped out base. Um, completely dominated here. Archer Queen's going to make it around to the other side here, start making uh, some cleanup work happen. What can I say? Yeah, that's, that's the story of the attack right there is the funnel. The funnel doesn't happen, this attack fails. Because the Archer Queen is going to stay alive. The longer she stays alive, the longer you have to wait before you, you enter the base with hogs or balloons. So, number one is to force those troops to the middle. And the only way to do that is to take out any intersecting structures on the outside that give them something to gobble up. If they, if they see something they can eat that they don't have to go through a wall to get to, that's about the same distance, guess what? They're going to turn around and they're going to go after it. So that's how it works. That's how the funnel works. That's how the Goho We works. Um, that's how the Go La Loon goes. All right? So you need to make sure you're focusing on the uh, 
the clan castle troops and the archer queen get them killed and then it's open season for your uh your lava hounds and your balloons um typically you end up with uh lava hounds that are alive still at the end of the raid as you can see again the funnel happens here only the outside structures are under fire right now let these heroes sit around in this area for a bit you can see i trickled in a little hog here just to um uh, and get some freebies okay honestly could have probably dropped a second hog to get some more freebies but i didn't really want to open up this area yet i wanted to wait until um the barb king and queen were to take out a bomb and the, the archer queen to engage the king so boom he one shots the queen and then uh jumps into the base wrecks the tesla and that's it game over okay so now the archer queen is going to take out that dragon and uh, we drop the extra golem here to to soak up some extra um, aggro from all of the defenses. We got two streams of hogs running around this base, and they're going to be under heals very soon. Uh, this heal was probably unnecessary. Um, we should have been here, and then the the third heal could have been right here over top of where the expo and those two Teslas just popped up, but. You get a little antsy when you know you're getting close to a uh, perfect war, and that's exactly how that went down. I got one archer in the in the bag here just in case for the end, but you can see there's one wizard trailing behind these two golems doing cleanup, and there's no problem with this base. This base was tricky before when people couldn't really figure out how to stop their troops from going round and round and go. Uh, it turns out they don't have to stop them from going around and round and round. All they have to do is put out enough power and hp troops down goes the base as long as you're not using your spells at the very beginning trying to break into the base which you don't have to break into you just let them be meat shields that's all there is to it so it's a pretty solid clean up here lots of hogs probably 12 to 15 hogs still remaining out of 28 so yeah what are you going to do there was no cc lure there there was nothing just come in and wreck so that's pretty sick. Uh, I was pretty happy about that attack. Um, anyway, so we're going to move into Shane. He's going to bring in some dragons, um, a.k.a. Crazy Crab Man. So, um, again, doing the wave attack with the dragons um, to each his own. I really believe in the funnel as being a better, uh, better strategy, but... Uh, not bad. He got the archer king or the barb king there to uh, distract the archer tower um, while the dragons snuck up on it. And the balloons are going to trail in here and start taking out some defenses under the rage. Occupy some attention on the Tesla. Really solid attack. Good rage spell usage. Very little, very little overlap. Um, looks like, anyways. I don't know where his third spell is. Maybe I missed it. Anyway, so yeah, that's that's your dragon attack. Really good job. 4x this for uh, Shane. The only thing left is one air defense. Um, good job there, buddy. Um, so that was their first Town Hall 8. That's telling you right there that number 7 is their first Town Hall 8, and he's weak. Which is really bizarre how we got matched up with these guys. But anyways, we did. So Gator's coming in now with another dragon attack. We're going we're gonna to showcase this strategy. As you can see, he has just dropped his Earthquake spell on this air defense, and you can see why, and I'm going to explain to you why. This air sweeper right here is the reason why this air defense goes down, okay? This one could have gone down just as easily if somebody wasn't paying attention, and then come in with dragons here because they would have reached these two air defenses before they engage the town hall. But, as you can see, we want to come from anywhere on this angle, to stay behind the air sweeper there's no sense in fighting upwind it's just stupid all right that's just stupid so might as well if you've got the opportunity utilize it um so one earthquake two lightning spells and uh yeah it's nasty that is nasty so as you can see he works a funnel system with his dragons gets the outside structures first sends the rest of them inside the middle and they just go beelining it for the town hall. <clears throat> As you can see, you're going to get one straggler go out this way, one straggler go out this way, but everything is in the middle here. And that extra rage spell is key.
for dragon attacks, okay? Usually, it used to be two, uh, three lightning spells. You're going to take out the, uh, the one air defense, and then you're left just hoping the dragons go the way you want them to and win. But uh, you can kind of control the outcome of the match by, uh, by dropping that rage, getting rid of the CC uh, dragon, which is typically what Town Hall 8s carry, um, on your rage. So that's pretty sick, pretty solid. Really happy that the game has uh, upped the ante there. So Spanky, <laughs> I'm going to show you show this for you. So this is a Town Hall 8 dipping down to take care of their number 9, who just happened to be a Town Hall 7 because... They really weren't supposed to be matched up against us, but they were. It's unfortunate that this was our perfect war, our first perfect war, and it's our epic moment because they were a lot less uh, built up, so to speak. So we're going to 2x this. Um, <laughs> Spanky, bro, friggin' look at these friggin' Pekkas going around around the outside. You got to work that funnel by, that's just, that's key, okay? The only thing that worked on that funnel was your damn golems. And they didn't do any damage to any structures. <laughs> but you know what? Hey, man. Obviously, it wasn't a highly concentrated attack. There was no really real need to put any extra thought into this attack. But just, uh, just food for thought. Yeah, work that outside first. We don't need a row of wizards. We don't need. We just need the outside two, one or two structures so that they have no choice but to go after the trail of bread crumbs right into the town hall. So that's how we do that. Way to go, Spanky. Way to go, team. This is amazing. Really, really excited about this war outcome. Uh, really, really pumped about our next war. Uh, what are you going to say? Uh, yeah, um, really happy. Really happy. I mean, I'm, I don't know if I sound it. <laughs> but I am pretty stoked. Hey, you know what? Everybody really held down their own. Um, a lot of guys had to dip here because there was only, like I said, Town Hall 9 was their first Town Hall 7. And everything below 9, um, 10, 11, 12, all the way down was lower than a Town Hall 7. So um, we have four or five Town Hall 8s that had to go uh, had to go low against 7s and 6s. So... Um, everybody held her down just to make sure that we got that perfect war and everybody played their role and everybody did fantastic so I can't complain about it it's very easy to miss a base just happens man you know what you can't control the way everybody goes and you can try <laughs> Gator says hi mom way to go Gator um, sweet anyways um, epic war moment wings rule first perfect war um again like comment share subscribe everything's appreciated over here you know what the more subscribers the better off it gets i would like to start doing some live streams but i kind of need about 500 subscribers so let's see what we can do here um i'm looking to make an arranged war uh very soon with uh with a friendly clan um so we are looking to try and and spice it up but we need to get some more uh, viewership here i want to do some a live stream on this war so anyways wings rule uh wings rulers keep flashing open your head take a glance don't be scared